Throw your study schedule out the window and cram. Channel your inner laundry pile. Study only when you feel like it, which, spoiler alert, is never. There's heaps of advice out there to remember what you got taught in class so you can remember it for your assessments. But what if you don't want to remember? And maybe you just want to forget everything you learned in school. Education, huh? It's not like it's that useful or valuable. After all, the most successful people out there are dropouts, so let's work towards that. By understanding how our brains learn and remember, we can make sure we act in a way that counters all of these processes and guarantees we remember nothing about the French Revolution or redox reactions. Luckily, forgetting is much easier to achieve than remembering. And in this video, I'll give you six easy tactics to help you forget what you've learned every single day. And to emphasize how easy this is, I can already tell you that you're already at least doing one of these. One, stay still. Remain indoors as much as possible, preferably staying in the same position and room for hours at a time. Become like that permanent pile of laundry at the end of your bed. This works because your brain is the most resource demanding organ in your body, consuming a quarter of your total energy. Meaning, if you don't move your body, you literally can't think as sophisticatedly. This is because exercise increases the blood flow and oxygen going to your brain, helping it function better in the short and long term, and boosting the happy chemicals that reduce your stress hormones. Going for a brisk walk with a podcast, playing a social netball game, or hitting the gym will make you feel more positive immediately, motivating you to study and actually helping you remember what you revise. So don't do any of that. Channel your inner laundry pile. Number two, be messy. Make sure your working surface and room are chaotic and disorganized. Our brains like order and they need as few distractions as possible to focus on something new and difficult. We don't want to focus because focus leads to remembering. Therefore, increase the visual clutter around you until it produces cognitive overload and you're unable to process new information. Cognitive overload reduces your working memory and makes you feel overwhelmed and irritable, decreasing your motivation to study. This is exactly what we want. Overwhelmed, distracted, unmotivated people are unproductive and definitely can't remember economic principles or quadratic formulas. Keeping your room and desk messy will help you forget what you learned in school today. Number three. Copy your notes and read to revise. This tactic is a great one because you get to look like you're working really hard while still guaranteeing you won't absorb much of the material. This will appease your over the shoulder parents while also achieving what you want, which is, let's be honest, not much at all. Thankfully, if you want to forget what you've learned, practicing remembering is really, really, easy to avoid. All you have to do is mindlessly copy full sentences from the textbook into your notes. Don't even think about it. Just chuck on some Netflix or YouTube on the side. My favorite is this tool in Chrome where you can minimize the screen into the bottom right hand corner so you can see your textbook and watch TV at the same time. Productivity, am I right people? I prefer watching videos rather than listening to music without lyrics in them because then that way my attention span is all over the place. The brain trying to listen to words while writing words at the same time Trying to look at two things at once? Yeah, nah, not happening. The same mindless strategy applies to revision. Just read over your notes a couple of times before the test. You'll get an A plus in the subject, forgetting things. Reading and copying trick your mind into thinking you know the content just because it makes sense or feels familiar. To be able to use what you've learnt, you must be able to recall it, not just recognize it. You have two memories, recognition and recall. We can't help the recognition bit because we've likely seen the content in class, but at least we can avoid retrieval and recall practice. So when you see your friend recalling information by trying to remember everything she has learned by writing down on a blank piece of paper next to her after reading a chapter, simple, just don't have any blank pieces of paper around you. You'll probably see her then filling in the missing details with a different color pen. The next time she studies, she'll do the exact same activity again to test herself to see if the amount of writing in the other color decreases. Us though, nope. Unfortunately, we have 10 pens that are the same color. Too bad. We are, after all, passive learners. Number four, cram. Throw your study schedule out the window and cram. Delete all your time scheduling tools like Google Calendar, recycle all your Kiki K study planners, make sure you don't plan regular study times that you stick to. Study only when you feel like it, which, spoiler alert, is never. After all, the surest way to forget what you've learned in class is to never look at it again when you get home. If you break down your revision into smaller individual chapters or subheadings that you revise over a period of weeks, you risk remembering the content because it's an information dosage size your brain could absorb. Instead, cram the entire subject in the days before the exam. The information overload will exhaust your brain and the hours that you spend cramming last minute will add up to absolutely nothing because you can't concentrate for more than a couple of hours at a 
your time. Like copying and reading your notes, cramming is another great way to look like you've worked hard without actually absorbing any information for the long term. My best tip? Start studying the night before. Then you'll have as little time as possible. Plus the bonus is that you'll probably be sleep deprived as well, making it even harder for your brain to succeed in its memory. This leads on to my next point. Five, screw with your sleep. Sleep helps your memory retain information. Everything you learned recently is stored temporarily in your hippocampus, AKA your short term memory. And when you sleep, it gets transferred to a more permanent part of the brain. Mess up with your REM cycle. And this process literally cannot happen. Wake up and go to sleep at irregular, inconsistent times. This is 100% the surest way to guarantee you won't remember what you learned in school even if you study properly. A stable sleep cycle is a fragile thing and it takes at least three days to establish itself and give you quality restorative sleep. Be sure to wake up at a different time every morning, especially during swap work, to confuse your body and prevent your mind refreshing itself overnight. Number six, get distracted. Stay on social media. Keep your phone next to you while you study so you don't miss any notifications. Play music when you do your homework. You might still finish up your study session with a full set of notes with your phone beside you, but you will have worked less efficiently, waste more time, and it's highly unlikely you'll remember anything well enough to recall it the next day. Do you know it takes an average 25 minutes of work before the brain stops throwing up enticing distractions to stop you studying? Make certain you never have a productive, engaging study session where your brain stops protesting and and becomes interested in the content by giving up within the first 25 minutes. After all, if you're not paying attention to what you're studying, you won't remember it. So I hope these six tips help. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more study advice. Bye.